This is the KK Micro Multicopter that I got from Korea. It's a do-it-yourself kit that costs about $260. It has all the, the parts you need to build it, like the propellers, the motors, the speed controllers, and even the main control board. So it has everything you need um, to build it, uh, except for the receiver and the transmitter, of course. This is actually my second uh, quadricopter. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you'll see that I have a AR drone, which is pretty cool. Um, this one is not as complex as an AR drone. It doesn't have like all the you know the bells and whistles like the camera or the sensors or anything like that. But it's actually a very capable quadricopter. It's very easy to fly. I've flown it outside and it's really fun. And it even flies indoors too because it's kind of small. It's also a very stable quadricopter. It also comes with the foam guards to help protect the blades. And I'm going to take that off right now to show you what the insides look like. Um, so that's about it. It looks a little complicated, but it's actually not. The blue board here, that's the main, the brains of it. This is uh, my Spectrum uh, receiver. Other than that, there's nothing really special. Here's uh, the battery. This is a 7.2 volt battery that I got from Hobby King as well. Um, nothing special. So it's pretty light as you can see one of the blades it, they're black it's black because I had to replace it um, I broke one of the propellers and I got a replacement so that's why it's black but they usually come in, in in white or I mean gray so there's basically two different types of blades um, one that spins clockwise and one that spins counterclockwise so you have to make sure you put the blades in the right place or else uh, It'll do weird things. The motors are actually small, 2200 kV motors. Uh, nothing really special, and they're pretty cheap to replace. They're about ten dollars, I think, to replace. So if you ever break one, it's easy to replace. Unlike the AR drones, the the motors for the drones are, are like forty dollars. So this one's really cheap to replace. Um, I've dropped this a number of times, from you know very high up, and it landed without breaking anything. So I'm pretty so I'm pretty impressed with that in terms of putting it together it was actually quite easy there are some videos online that show you how to build it um, that are but they're in Korean but they're still very useful so I'd recommend watching it it was very helpful watching those videos um, to figure out how to build this there's also like um, a PDF on the website to show you how to build it so pretty much everything that you need to build this thing comes in the kit like the 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 wood the the velcro pretty much everything you need so this is the blade guard for the mul the KK multicopter um, this kind of foam is very dense uh, I don't I don't remember what this kind of foam is called it's not EPO or EPP foam it's it's even denser than that so it's really durable um, it helps protect uh, the the insides of the the multicopter and uh, over here you can like velcro a camera on here if you want so I have like a little keychain camera that I velcro onto here and it works pretty well like I mentioned before I use a spectrum receiver and I also so I use a spectrum GX6i to control it um, there's some settings that you have to do to make it work um, it's detailed in the instructions uh, for building this thing on the website but in terms of adjusting the transmitter you just have to get these settings right like for throttle um, elevator aileron rudder basically get the reversing correct so that's what it is for a spectrum receiver or a, a spectrum setup to turn this thing on you first of course turn on the transmitter make sure you got the right uh, model selected and then you plug in the battery and it is almost ready right now if you push the throttle up and down nothing's gonna happen because it's not armed to arm it you're gonna have to hold the the stick to the right and then it, the LED turns blue and then when you do that the device is armed and it's ready for takeoff 
And then to disarm it, you hold the stick to the left and the blue LED turns on. It's really cool that you can arm and disarm it so you don't accidentally make it take off. At $260, this kit is a little pricey, but you have to remember it comes with pr everything you need pretty much. And it comes with uh, the propellers and the motors and whatnot. And it's actually pretty easy to build. Uh, I've never built a, a, a quadricopter before, so I found out it's actually quite easy. So if you're looking for a smaller uh, quadricopter that is easy to, easy to fly and easy to build, I totally recommend the KK Multicopter.